Hello students, welcome back to Clarity Concepts, Unleashing Conceptual Learning. For more lectures on conceptual clarity, you can log in to our website clarityconcepts.com. Today in this lecture, we are going to talk about one of the really important device in fluid mechanics which is used heavily in the industries to measure flow rate of the fluid. So before I move on to that particular device, I would like to ask you several questions. So let us say for example, uh, the, the tap that you use at your residential houses, right? If I ask you that when, the, when you open the tap, the water start coming out of it, right? What is the flow rate of this water? What is the flow rate of this water? Can you, can you calculate this or can you measure this? Pause the video, think about it. Now first, I hope you are aware that what is the meaning of flow rate, right? What do you mean by flow rate? Flow rate means that how much amount of water is coming out through this particular tap in one second. Again, I am repeating. So that means you can say that from any section, let's say section, this is a section 1-1. One, one. So how much amount of water is crossing this section in one second? Amount can be calculated based on mass as well as volume. So if you calculate how much mass of water is flowing through this section in one second, that will give you mass flow rate in kgs per second. And if you calculate how much volume, how much volume of water is flowing through this particular section every second, that is said to be the uh, volume flow rate that is in meter cube per second. Now my question is, how do you measure that? How will you very, make sure that how much quantity of water is flowing through this section or rather how much quantity of water is coming out through this tap in every second. Alright, let me give you an experiment today. Now, let us say for example, 